So I'm here with my buddy Jeff, and we're in the Poudre Canyon, and we didn't record the rest of it because you've seen it a lot. The difference here is that we have snow, so you might have a slightly better view, and it's early April, and Jeff is riding, what year is this, Jeff? It's uh, 2019 Africa Twin 1000. The 2019 Africa Twin 1000. A fine looking machine. And I'm on the Gootsie. And we'll show you what it looks like at the crags. at these snow fields. There's actually a dam right there, so it's not all snow. Temperature is 51. How's that for a little quieter behind all my shielding? So what are we doing today? Well, this is our first trip over the Cameron Pass for the year. And we're gonna go down to Walden for lunch. That's what motorcyclists do. We ride places for lunch. Whew, take a little breather behind the shield. It's cold up here now. 48 degrees. See, we just dropped from 51 to 48. It was 64 down the hill. But you are approaching uh, 10,000 feet in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. That snow's getting a little deeper. We're up to at least two feet now. Even a little bit taller. Wind is brutal. Wind is going through the zippers on my leather jacket. And it's cold. Where are we at now? We are at 46 degrees. There it is. There's my view as I sat down, <laughs> checking my zippers. The crags. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. My family and I camped up there. Not at the top, of course. Down by the base. Cameron Pass Summit. Here we are.
Elevation, 10,276 feet. I've done videos like this before, but have you seen this much snow? We gotta get some photos. You can just stay on your bike, I'll get a photo of us awesome. yeah. from behind. Fantastic, yeah. Gorgeous sunny day, 49 degrees at 10,276 square, 10,276 feet above sea level. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Well, I think the one's missing. We're now just only at 276 feet, oh, so welcome to Florida. Right. That explains the 49 degrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In Jackson County, Florida. No. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, it was uh, counting out to the camera the temperature drop because yeah. we went from like 57 down to 40 something, 46 or whatever. And that's kind of where I've been sticking. So we won't stay up here long, but I will get a photo of us, which means camera off. Avalanche area, next two and a half miles. 46 degrees. Closing my visor. Burr. So far, the road is dry. I'm gonna downshift a little bit. Walden, Colorado is the moose capital of our state, although I usually see moose up on the pass. My wife and I once left Walden on a gold wing to race a thunderstorm over the pass to go home. As we came up over the pass, three moose were blocking the road. We waited for them to move and went home. It was too dark for photos though, I tried. Walden is in North Park, the northern middle of the Rockies. Yes, it has some relation to South Park, the setting for the cartoon series. I'm not going there right now, though. Walden is cattle country as well as a hunter's and At fisherman's paradise. World. It's also a fine target for riding to lunch, which is a 200-mile round trip for me and includes Cameron Pass at over 10,000 feet. snow on this side. The town of Gould. So you want to move to Colorado and you want to move into a small town where there's not a whole lot of people? There you go. You're now in the town of Gould. In fact, I got just the building for you. You want to move into that one right there. Right there. Yeah. That one. Walden has a population right around 600 people, and it's at 8,100 feet elevation, so they get a little more snow than the rest of us. It was founded in 1889, but the design of the home suggests it grew mostly right around World War II. I could be wrong there. Ask your local Facebook fact checker to tag me on that. Walden gets a good amount of traffic in the summer, as four roads converge on it, including one from Steamboat Springs. Walden, the moose viewing capital of Colorado. 
and I have seen moose here. Uh, the wind's blowing my camera crooked. Holy for sheriff. Okay then. Oh, a dog with a ball. Won't somebody come out and play ball with that dog? That's so sad. North Park Inn and Suites, and yes, it's related to the show South Park, who the creators of South Park lived in South Park. Walden. Two gas stations, one main street. turn. Hmm. Well, the cars have that spot. I'm thinking we want probably right there. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Fifty seven degrees, four thousand and thirty miles on the bike. One hundred and eighty six miles of gas left after I've gone a hundred miles. Cool. North Park welcomes you, and we're going to eat at the Antlers Inn. Well, has it changed much? It has not. <laughs> the First National Bank hasn't changed. And of course, there's Harley's Park for the Stockman Bar. Family Dollar, Klondike Liquors. Can't really tell what's in the brick building anymore, but it was the building is 1912. And the movie theater that I've never seen a movie in. Let's go eat. Walden is your stopping point for gas and food before heading over Cameron Pass or into Wyoming. I usually eat at the River Rock Cafe, or as I call it, the Antlers Inn, which is its hotel name. After you fuel up, take a walk over to the cemetery. It's interesting, especially with the view of Walden Reservoir behind it. Do you need an adventure bike to get to Walden? No, I've done it on the Honda Fury. The road gets a little choppy near the pass though for low-slung cruisers. Keep your eyes open for wildlife and potholes. Either way, going to Walden is always a treat and looks somewhat different every time I go. Hey look, it's me. You finally see me in this video, like you haven't seen me before. So uh, we are at the Moose Center, the Moose Visitor Center. It's only for moose, so don't pull in here. Uh, in fact, there's a moose over there. See him? He's not moving though. I think he's a stationary moose. One of those guys. Anyway, uh, he's visiting permanently. So uh, now that we're out of the earshot of the wait staff of the Antlers Inn, uh, Jeff, what did you have at the Antlers Inn? I had the most awesome bacon Swiss three quarter pound burger or three quarter pound burger and it hit the spot. It was cooked perfectly. The onion rings are amazing. I would definitely go back there again. You had a three quarter pound burger? I think you meant a third pound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise I'd still be there napping. I, I had to spice it up a little bit and I went with the third pound burger as well. Uh, now he's spiced up. He had the bacon and cheese. I just had the third pound burger and onion rings. And um, 
You know, it, it's amazing that you can go to a small town in the mountains and still get a decent burger for $10.99 when in our uh, big Denver metropolis stretched out from north to south of Colorado area that we call the Front Range, most of your uh, restaurants that are serving real burgers are upwards of $15 a burger now. So uh, Walden, hats off to you. The Antlers Inn is awesome. It always has been every time we go there. And uh, I highly recommend it if you're ever going through Walden. Wait staff is awesome as well. I mean, you just don't get that in a big city, but the wait staff wouldn't tell you about themselves, tell you about the community. It was a good, good place. I didn't have to wait for a check. Normally I have to ask somebody, can I, can I have my check please so we can leave? No, she was right there with it. So didn't even have to ask. All right, well, we got a little bit of battery left and we're gonna head back home over the pass in the darkest depths of Mordor. And hopefully we don't get uh, hit by bad weather or orcs or giant spiders because I didn't bring sting my blade. So uh, let's see what we can see. I didn't see any moving moose yet. How's this for a view? <laughs> that just sucks, don't it? Snowing just a little bit. It is snowing. Adds to the ride. This kind of snow is your friend. It's not the big wet snow. Look what we have here. You guys need to get out of the road, kids. I don't know what to do about you, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, I might want to pull over a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Well, hi, big fella. Uh, looks like that one's leaving you.
there's the people. <laughs> that looks like fun. That's the first time I've seen that. But I can never get tired of seeing this river. Which unfortunately looks really low for this time of year. We're going to hear about all kinds of drought stuff come August, I'm sure.